proud to be an Italian because of, I think, uh, of our heritage. You know, our, our families came over. I don't like to say boat, but I like to say ship because the boat's a little thing that they came over on the big ship. And somewhere along the line, somebody's family came over on that ship and they came over here for an opportunity. And their opportunity was they worked hard and they gave their kids a great opportunity to go to school, something that they couldn't do. And once the kids went to school, they got an opportunity to become a lawyer, a doctor, or a baseball player, or a basketball coach, or whatever it may be. So you, know, you, have to respect their, you have to respect them for what they did, you know, coming here, taking a chance, leaving their family over in Italy, and coming here and, give, and building a family and giving their family, future generations, future Italians, uh, a chance to succeed here. My father fought with, with Italy, with the Allies, in the First World War. And uh, he came to this country when he was in his 20s, his late 20s. So he was, for all purposes, certainly a Sicilian. <laughs> but he never looked back. He, he, he came to the United States with a purpose. And that was to allow his children to surpass him, which did not, he felt, uh, did not exist in uh, Palma di Montechiaro, in Provincia Agrigento, in Sicily. They had respect for him, never left the table until he was finished eating. Never, boy, don't dare get up the table. It's about values, ethics, work ethic, morals, and all of those apply no matter what you do. And it's work ethic. It's, it, it's, it's the ethic you have to work as hard as you can to do the best you can. And it's also, in my home, it's about ego, that you don't have an ego. It, it's about team. It's about family. You don't think about fame or you don't think about inspiring people when you're doing your job. You just do it. And you, for me, it was a passion and it was this drive and this determination that I always wanted to exceed. And when I failed, I was miserable. I would just, you know, it just, it drove me crazy. And that's what, with that incredible sense of focus is what allowed me to do my job. And when people kind of latch onto that, you don't really, you don't really comprehend it. But then it's so flattering and so humbling to hear people talk about you hit this home run you hit that home run I was there for that game my kids were that game we cried at this game and, and especially going through all the things that I went through in New York City um, you know through 9-11 and all the experiences and not just the games and coming back but just witnessing what happened and how the city was was at least able to try to heal a little bit and and the humans the struggle that everything that went through that so um, it's overwhelming. It really is overwhelming. And it's, it's something for me that I have to kind of pull back and, and collect myself because um, it, it is an honor. It's an honor and it's flattering when people really, I mean, everywhere, you know, when I still go back to New York, I mean, the, the way the fans treat me there and the way the people treat me there, it's, it's something that, uh, um, you know, I, I'm very proud of and I just, I have to kind of pull back a little bit because it's very emotional. My children um, follow the traditions, food-wise, of our family. Now, by that I mean um, at Easter, my mother and my mother-in-law used to, you know, they used to make their Easter pies two different ways, um, but very similar. My girls know how to make it the way I do, and my son deliberately learned how to make it, and so did my, my eldest daughter as well the way my husband's mother made it so that we would be able to maintain the traditions. Every Easter now both of our, our mothers are gone. Uh, we still have the tradition with <laughs> the two Easter pies done. Um, similar but, but different. Um, they have all, they have all been to Italy uh, numerous times. Um, they've all studied Italian. Uh, nobody is fluent in the language now but they've all, you know, they're, they love the culture, they love the country. Um, I celebrated my 35th anniversary by taking my whole family to Italy and spending a, a week there with them, which was great, um, with them and their spouses. So it's, it's a, uh, we still celebrate the fact that we, we eat as Italians, we hug as Italians, uh, we enjoy our family as Italians, we're very family oriented still, and, uh, and you know, it's, we've maintained that, so despite what's going on in society.